everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today, we're gonna to be talking about the essentials you need when using alcohol inks. So let's get started. When using alcohol inks, you wanna make sure that you're very cautious that you don't spill any of the inks on anything. So what I like to do, because I am completely messy when doing art, is I got a plastic shower curtain. Uh, it's just a cheaper alternative to getting like an outdoor plastic sheet. This cost me $7 at one of the classic junk shops and I will be using it every single day because it will save my life, I promise you. The next thing I wanna mention is a pouring surface. So with alcohol inks, you have quite a few options, but the traditional option is normally Yuppo paper um, or you can do it on canvas, but right now what I'm using as a cheaper alternative to Yuppo paper is just a glossy uh, photo paper, which is significantly cheaper. So this co cost me around $20, whereas $20 for 50 sheets and Yuppo paper is normally about $20 for 10 sheets. So for somebody that's starting with alcohol inks, I think this is a really, really great op uh, alternative to using Yuppo paper, just because it does take a little trial and error. So another alternative for a pouring surface that I like is super, super cheap frames. So the glass is a really, really nice working surface, personally for me. A lot of other people go to hardware stores and buy just white tiles, which is another great option, but since I'm in the shopping center, it's just easier to get something like this. So the next essential for working with alcohol inks would be the alcohol. So ideally you would be getting 100% isotropal. I think that's how you say it. I'm not 100% sure, sorry guys. But you want to get the highest percentage, which allows you the best, most ideal working conditions with the inks. Uh, with the lower percentage, I tend to get a lot more grain with the inks. I don't know if it's just the brand or range I'm using, but I do think it's the alcohol. So ideally, if you're going to be working with alcohol inks long term, I would recommend buying alcohol in bulk. So there's a few options. Uh, you can buy it on eBay or you can buy it if you're based in Australia from Sydney Solvents. That's where I ordered mine and it's significantly cheaper than buying anything at Bunnings. So I definitely recommend that if you want to save some money. So the next important item that you're gonna need is actual alcohol inks. So right now I'm currently using the Pinata brand. Uh, so far I've loved it. I started with the beginner package, so it had five or six different pigments, and so far I've loved it. The options I get from it is quite significant, so I'm really, really loving that range. However, I will be trying out some new inks, so comment down below your favorite brand and I'll check it out. So the next items I'm going to mention are essential tools that I find make my life a lot easier. And the first item are these tiny little shot glasses. I know it sounds ridiculous, but it's significantly easier working with smaller cups uh, just because with alcohol inks it is quite concentrated so you don't need those massive cups. So that is my little handy tip for you. When I first began working with alcohol inks, I found it quite difficult to get the results I wanted and I discovered the reason why I had such a difficult time with that is I wasn't using the tools that helped me and one of the items that really helped take my art to the next level are these awesome little droppers. So I have an assortment of them. When using droppers, I find it gives me the control I desire, so those are definitely very handy for me. When working with alcohol inks, there's so many different techniques that you can use to add different kind of movement and texture. When working with alcohol inks, I definitely prefer the more soft approach. So with that being said, one of the items that really helps me achieve that look is straws. Pretty simple, hey? Another option that quite a few people use is blow dryers. 
personally, it's a no-go for me, but I just don't like it that much because I don't have the control like I previously stated. I find with the blow dryer, it just dries out my pieces a little too quick. So for me, that's a no-go. However, eventually I do look forward to buying an airbrush. I've seen quite a few artists using those and they get beautiful results. So I look forward to using those. Well, that concludes all of the essential supplies for alcohol inks. If there's anything that I missed that you think is essential, make sure you comment down below and share all of your awesome advice. Awesome. Have a good one, guys. Bye.